More than 10% of their field personnel are out because of COVID-19, causing a shortage in the department. KSHB 41 reporter Daniela Leon tells us what they're doing, what the department is doing to try to figure this out. And Daniela, is this impacting services? Good morning, Ray and Lindsay. Well, according, well, the Omicron variant really truly is sweeping through the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department and Assistant Fire Chief Jimmy Walker says this is driving up their overtime costs. Now, other departments are dealing with this issue. In fact, some departments in the West Coast have activated what is known to be as emergency brownouts, and that's when agencies shut down companies for a limited amount of time. Walker says his department is nowhere near close to dealing with a similar situation and really hopes to keep that way. The Omicron variant is taking Kansas City, Missouri firefighters away from the front lines. When we get one, a few people back, then we have a few, quite a few more go off. So it's just, it's a moving target. Last Thursday, out of the agency's 1,000 field personnel, 130 were out due to COVID-19, forcing the department to burn through overtime and spend more money in OT than previous years. We've got. Uh, you know, overtime nonstop, uh, and uh, we just, we're really just trying to make sure that all of our people have what they need to, to be able to make it through. More than 80% of KCFD staff are vaccinated, and at this time, vaccines are not required. And as of now, no KCFD-related hospitalizations have been reported. This variant seems to be more contagious, so it really seems to be spreading more quickly. Uh, so it is, it, it, if it's not the worst, it's probably uh, equal to the worst we've seen throughout this pandemic. Walker says services haven't been impacted and for the most part, this fire is under control and plans to keep it that way. What we're doing is working. So we are, we're planning on continuing the course that we are. Uh, I believe that with our vaccination rate that we have, uh, I don't believe we're gonna reach that critical point. And as you heard, the department says their vaccination rate is really helping them brain in this problem. They will be hosting a vaccine clinic starting tomorrow morning. It'll take place for the next six weeks, every Wednesday and Thursday. It is open to the public and KCFD hopes their own staff will take advantage of the clinic and get their booster shots. I want to repeat what you said again. They're saying this is not impacting services so far. If I call 911 and need the fire department, KCFD says they can meet that task. Daniela, are other departments in the area seeing a similar situation? Yes, well, I called a bunch of fire departments yesterday. I called the Lee Summit, St. Joseph, Kansas City, Kansas, and Overland Park Fire Departments, and they told me they're also experiencing COVID-19 related shortages, but services are not being impacted, and overtime is either slightly or significantly up, Lindsay. All right, Daniela, thank you so much.